Come to the house of the Lord. And right now, joining by television, right here in Moore County and the surrounding counties, we've got people here from three or four counties around. But right now, every Sunday morning, right here at this altar, we ask the sick to come forward. And we have the elders to come up here, and they anoint them with oil and lay hands on them. We ask the men of God to come and lay hands on the sick because the Bible tells us to do that. And, and, and we're trying to get in the will of God and into the Word of God so that people can be set free. And, and I've seen drug addicts be set free right here at the altar. I've seen alcoholics be set free. I've seen broken homes mended. We've seen it all right here. And it's just like Naaman went down to the river. He was just being obedient. The man of God said, go dip seven times and you're going to get your miracle. And listen, if he had dipped six and went back to Syria, he would have went back a leper. And many people, hallelujah, have come to the house of the Lord. And they've come up expecting it to happen right now. And God didn't say right now. He said he would do it and that's what you have to do. You have to believe it and walk out of here praising God and thanking God for your miracle because the angel has left heaven and he's got your miracle in his hand and he's on his way to deliver it to you. The very moment you pray, your angel leaves heaven and he's got your miracle. But the devil is going to send his angels to try to hinder your angel from getting here because if he can hinder him long enough for you to doubt, if he can cause doubt... Your miracle, God has to call your angel back to heaven because God cannot and will not honor doubt and unbelief. He will not. If you doubt, you cannot get it. But you've got to believe that you believe that you believe. Believe the Word of God. Don't question God. Just believe that God can and believe that God will, and He will. He will do it. But you've got to stir up that that's within you. Now, I'm going to ask you right now. As Brother Corbin sings this song, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to put him on the spot. This is a new one for him now. So y'all just, y'all just clap with him and praise the Lord. Stand to your feet, if you will, in here. If you're able, stand to your feet and rejoice in here. And let's have church together. endless beauty far beyond this world below where there's no sorrow sin nor sickness pain and woe there will be joy and peace forever in that homeland of the soul i lay my burdens down when i reach that city someday i know someday i know i'll live in a mansion he'll place on me a shining crown and when i get to the throne of god i'm gonna lay it down my Savior for His grace, dying on Calvary in my place. All the joys of heaven will be mine someday, I know. I have many friends and loved ones waiting on the other shore. And I know someday I'll see them once more. It will be a great homecoming when Jesus comes back, I will go. In heaven I will be throughout eternity, someday I know. Someday I know I'll live in a mansion and place on me a shining crown. And when I get to the throne of God, I'm going to lay it down. And thank my Savior for His grace, dying on Calvary in my place. All the joys of heaven will be mine, someday I know. And place on me a shining crown When I get to the throne of God I'm gonna lay it down And thank my Savior for His grace Dying on Calvary in my place All the joys of heaven will be mine Someday I know And thank my Savior for His grace Dying on Calvary in my place All the joys of heaven will be mine Someday I know all the joys of heaven will be mine someday. I know. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Praise God. John wrote in the in Third John. He said, "I write these things." First John three he said, "I write these things whereby ye shall know that you have eternal life." He said, "I write it whereby ye shall know." Church, it's not a hope so, maybe so, think so, going to heaven, hope so. One day I know. 
hallelujah, that I'm going to walk the streets of gold. You say, Brother David, how do you know that? Because I've been sealed until the day of redemption. I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb, hallelujah. Well, one day Jesus walked by and he said, Son, do you want me to be your Savior? Do you want me to be your Redeemer? And I said, Yes, Lord, come in. I surrendered when the Holy Ghost was knocking at my heart's door. I said, Yes, Lord. And that moment he wrote my name in the Lamb's book of life and he sealed me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day that he comes back to redeem me. And he loves you and he wants to save your soul also. If you've got sin in your life, you can get that sin under the blood. All you have to do is call upon the name of Jesus. And church in here is the same way. When we call upon the name of the Lord and we mean it in our hearts, God forgives our sin. You hear what I'm saying? He forgives our sin. He places it under the blood of Jesus. Never, hallelujah, never. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Never to be remembered again. Never to be remembered again. He puts it under the blood. And this morning you might, this, listen, this might be your seventh trip. Have you thought about it? you joining by television. It might be your seventh trip right now. And God wants to touch your heart. It might be your seventh trip to the river. Maybe you've called upon him six times before for salvation. Maybe you've called on him for healing six times before. And maybe you need deliverance. And maybe, hallelujah, you've come to the altar six times. But what if today is the day? What if today is your day? What if this is the seventh time? What if this is the day that God wants to touch you and deliver you and put your name in the Lamb's book of life? Glory to the God. If, if God's dealing with your heart right now and, and you know that you've got sin in your life and you're under conviction and you, you can tell the Lord is drawing you, I want you to say this prayer with me because if you say it and mean it in your heart, God will save your soul right now. Would you bow your heads and say this prayer? Father God, I come before you today. I am a sinner. And I ask you, Father, to forgive my sins. Place them under the blood of Jesus. For I believe in my heart and I'm confessing with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God and that you raised him from the dead. This moment, I invite Jesus Christ to come into my heart to be my Savior, to be Lord of my life. I ask you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's book of life and seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask this in Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer, there's an address on the screen, there's a number, let us know. We want to pray with you and send you some information and literature. Pray for this ministry always. Support us when you can. And remember that Jesus is the answer around the world. God bless you.